Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining how I built a retaining wall using sleepers in my garden to partition it into two different levels. Now, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to watch my garden renovation over the next few weeks, but let's get into it. I'd started off by drawing my design on paper and then I mapped the design out using some string line in the garden to see exactly where I wanted everything to go. I decided that I wanted the posts to be around about halfway across the garden and the difference between the front of the garden and the back of the garden was 600 mil. So that told me then that I needed to bring the top layer up to that uh, level and then the bottom layer, I still wanted the slight slope but I wanted to bring it down to a lower height. There were a couple of different designs I looked at to start with. So this was my first design and I initially wanted the posts behind to have a flat aesthetic, but then I soon realized that it would make more sense to have the support posts at the front as they'll be holding the weight of the rest of the actual sleeper wall itself. And that way it's just gonna have more structural integrity for the long term. By far the hardest part of all of this was digging the trench itself. So I used a pick, I had a shovel, and I also had a couple of chisels as well and a, and a hammer drill just to get through all the slate and stones and clay that there was underneath my garden. So I started off by digging it quite wide because I knew I wanted a little bit of room for error, but also I wanted space to be able to get the drill as well when it came to screwing the sleepers together. I also dug this trench down the front as well to get an idea of what the level of the lawn would be at the front of the sleeper wall. And you can see the difference between the height of the grass currently at the front of the lawn compared to where that wall would be. I then decided to dig a trench within the main trench itself so that I could fill it with hardcore to allow some drainage so that the sleepers wouldn't be sat on the soil rotten away. Now, when it came to putting the posts in place, I knew that each post would need to be 900 mil uh, tall. And I knew that 600 mil of that 900 would need to be sticking out the ground, which obviously leaves the last 300 mil, which is a third of the post. And that would be the part that would be secured in the bottom of the hole in the garden. So I knew I needed to dig a hole that was around about 400 mil deep. And the reason being was to allow a uh, hundred mil at the bottom. So the idea was to have hundred mil of hardcore at the bottom, which would be compacted down by the sleeper. And then also then to fill the hole with post creep with a slight lip to allow water to drain off and away from the post. Now I did end up with some inconsistencies with these holes because the holes that were closest to both garages either side had quite a lot of hardcore near them. So they ended up either full of water or full of loose stone. So they became a little bit trickier to use. Another thing as well was I set up a string line across the garden from one garage to the next so that I could get a perfect level for each of the sleepers. I bought sleepers that were 2400 mil long. So I bought this McAllister circular saw to cut them to size. It said it didn't cut them fully to size on the website, but by flipping it over, I was able to get all the way through. I made sure that I made my cuts carefully too. So the sleepers that were 1500 mil long along the sides would leave the 900 mil posts that would then go at the front. To secure each post in place, I just put some water in the bottom, applied the post crete and filled the rest with water too. I did go out and buy a few more bags and what I did was I brought that level up to the level of where the ground is there and I actually smoothed it up towards the post so that water would drain away from it to allow for more longevity of the post. And you can see we started off by attaching the top sleeper first. The reason being was we wanted a completely flat surface along the top. So we thought by attaching the, the top sleeper to begin with, it would mean that everything else would be level as we move downwards. Now my small cordless Bosch drill didn't really cut it when it came to screwing in the screws for the sleepers, but it did use this hammer drill to get them in. And the last thing we did was backfill behind the sleeper wall itself. So what we've done is we've got some membrane tucked underneath the wall and we brought it up and on the closer side to us, we filled with hardcore to allow for drainage whenever it rains. 
and with any moisture in the, the soil itself. And then behind we just backfill with some of the clay, stones and soil that we dug out to dig the trench itself. And just the last thing to mention is that we left this gap in the centre here because we are going to be digging this out and installing some sleeper steps to step up into that top layer. And there we have it, that's how I put my sleeper wall together in my garden. So, like I said earlier, this is just part of my garden renovation. There will be more parts of this when it comes to levelling the top and the level on the bottom and we're going to be installing a patio and establishing a new lawn so if you'd like to see more of this feel free to subscribe feel free to like and as a novice if you have any advice for us put it in the comments below and i'll take it all on board and finally thanks for watching